Wow, it's always good to be a Friday. Absolutely, you know, Friday basically means the end of a week. But for us, it's always a beginning of something new, something empowering, something that will challenge us to rise up and take action. Mr. B, Friday with Mr. B. B standing for Mr. B done. Things must be done in a particular way. We're talking to Mr. Bidan Mbugu, a journalist of over 30 years, a veteran indeed, has seen it all, has done it. But of course, he's not saying, you know what, I'm going to retire and stay behind closed doors. But I want to come back and look at the situation as it is at the moment, and we see how we can change things to make this country a better place. My name is Johnson Mokaz. Mr. B. Good to see you this day. Nice to see you. Absolutely. You, you know your friend. You, your, your friend turned 91 years. I hope you're still friends. <laughs> Former President Daniel Arab Boy. Yeah, yeah. We are still friends. You're still friends. Yeah. But 91. Yes. 91 years. That, Amazing. Really, absolutely. How yeah. do you make it to 91? Still healthy? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. There are many, many uh, things. And you hear people talk about the way he eats. He has specific way, particular way he eats, and he is very particular about what he eats. If, uh, he will, he loves maize like that one over there, uh, fresh. Yeah, he loves uh, soup. Uh, from the bones of animals and he loves to eat uh, uh, fresh anything that is fresh he uh, healthy he loves to eat wow. you hear people saying Pe people talk about that talk about absolutely that. and of course yeah. even uh, during you know the celebration of his birthday they were it, talking about every day he wakes up at about 6 6 30 yeah. the first thing he does is to read the bible yeah then he moves on and does so many other healthy things yeah and i'm looking at you mr b yes your lifestyle yes because a lot of journalists over time yeah. we've seen them come up they're famous they're celebrities yes. but down the line they're 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 found drunk yes. others dead yeah not healthy yeah tell us your regime how do you do it because you're still fit yes you still do what you do yes uh johnson i'm um, uh, now 68 and uh, december 68. 68 december 18th i will be 69 and the next year i will be 70. but uh, i have a, a very simple lifestyle first i make sure i sleep enough but not just sleeping i rest because there are people when they go to sleep then if they don't get sleep they get so worked up and worried about that they end up waking up with red eyes frustrated then i wake up early 4 30 4 30. if moi wakes at, up at six, six you wake up two hours earlier i wake up at 4 30. then i do exercise for half an hour yeah uh, because the time of my exercise is very short, I, I first have hot shower to warm the body. And then I do the exercise for half an hour. You, you know, Mr. B, eh? yes. <clears throat> we're talking to these, I mean, our, you know, our, our friend sitting at home yeah. is wondering, uh, okay, you wake up, fine, and then you do your exercise for 30 minutes. Yes. He might be thinking, or she might be thinking, this is just talk. Yes. Is, is it possible for us to see this yes. in reality? Yes. 68, turning 69 by yeah. the end of this year. Yes. Let's see whether <laughs> uh, this is just yes, talk. I can show you the exercises. Let, I let's do. do it. Let's do it right away. We, in fact, we, we uh, have prepared already yeah. a the... skipping rope here. <laughs> okay.
Whoa! <laughs> that is probably 70. That's 70. Yeah. That is 70. Yeah. Now you do this every single day. Yes, every, every single, day. single day. Now we, this we, is there's still another one. This here. is more challenging. Okay, let, let's see how this is yeah. going. Uh huh. Do I warm up like that first? I do like five. Go extending. Then I go full blast. I can go on, you know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> then I can do more stretch ups mm -hmm. for say another fifteen minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness! Did you see that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now. How did it all begin? You know, because that, that's really the big question. Yeah. When did you decide that this was going to be a lifestyle for you? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. You see, like you mentioned, I made an observation. People in the media, all those who are slightly older than me, or older than me, yeah. the one I was looking uh, on, like, I want to be a top. They were editors-in-chief, they were senior, and the journalists in general. And I found that uh, many of them died very early. Secondly, they were people who were spending a lot of time uh, drinking. Eh? That time, many of them were, and you know, you see they are, they are not properly dressed. They don't comb their hair. So I said, uh, there must be another lifestyle apart from this one. One of them is to make sure I eat well, make sure I read, make sure I do exercise, and have a, a lifestyle which is not uh, uh, very stressful. This is really powerful, you know, and this really goes back. It's a message to, yes, the media personalities out there that we have a responsibility. If at all we want to retain that position of being the fourth estate, we ought to be healthy so that we are able yeah. to retain that particular space. Mm -hmm. And definitely this, Mr. B, really epitomizes what ought to happen in society. I want to take a short break, but before we take that break, did you know that 80 Kenyans die daily? 80, one, two, three, not one, two, three, 80 Kenyans die daily. And every year, there are 40,000 cases reported. Now, do you want to know what really kills these 80 people daily? When we come back, I'll share with you those statistics and you will definitely know that whatever Mr. B has taught us this morning, this day rather, and whatever he has done today definitely ought to be enshrined in our daily activities.
so we'll be right back. Don't go away.